realistically this is a bit ridiculous for like a beer guard <laughs> but I cannot wait to get these gals on the town <laughs> Hi everyone and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video today. This is a video that I cannot believe I am finally being able to film. We are finally coming out of lockdown. I think I've got just over a week. It's a week on Monday basically, although you don't know when Monday is. <laughs> um, a week, it's about seven, no, nine days. Oh my goodness, what am I like? Nine days or so we are leaving lockdown. Scotland is opening up again, so today's video is all about helping me pick my leaving lockdown looks. So if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching today. My name is Leslie. it is lovely to have you here. If you've watched my videos before, welcome back. Thank you so much for the support, it honestly means so so much to me. So basically I'm going to just go through a few wee outfits that I've had some ideas about for leaving lockdown. I know throughout this period I have been putting on nice outfits for both YouTube and Instagram but this is really a monumental moment because I'm finally going to wear them out somewhere that people will see them and it won't look weird because I'm not just wearing it on a dog walk or something like that. So this is why I'm really excited to make this video. So let's just get started. So I'll quickly give you an overview of what I've got booked for leaving lockdown. So on the 26th of April is the first date, restaurants are reopening, you can have drinks outside. Um, cafes are open, so that's all happening on the 26th, as well as non-essential retail. 26th of May is the big date for us here in Scotland. So what I've booked for that evening is a little drinks terrace, it's nothing big, <laughs> it's just Jack and I. We're going to go, I think it's a two hour slot we've got, we'll have a wee drink and that'll be it. And that's a Monday night, so obviously it's not going to go too, too wild on that one. Then the Friday night, I've also got another drinks slot booked at a little, it's like a pub, beer garden that's actually part of a converted church so it's it's really cute so that's for the Friday and then the Sunday I've booked a sort of afternoon lunch slot at this Italian restaurant that has an outdoor terrace I'm hoping the sun is going to shine we can sit outside we'll be able to have a drink and have our lunch so I've actually not booked anything for the Saturday night because I wanted all my bookings to be outside naturally so I just thought I'll freeze on a Saturday night sat outside having dinner just to have a drink and I actually thought maybe Sunday during the day you've got a better chance of enjoying yourselves and having a drink hopefully in the sunshine so that is my plans so I need to put together some outfits for these events so that is what I'm going to go through so I'll just show you my first idea which is it's quite glam so I'm not quite sure what one it's going to fit into but I will show you the first look. So it's this little top that I'm going to put together for the first outfit. If you watch my River Island video you'll remember this. It was an item that I was really humming and hawing of whether to keep or not. I, I loved how cute it is, the detailing on it but I wasn't sure how much wear I'd get out of it but then I remembered this little polka dot skirt that I have. So this is another skirt that it is River Island but I've actually not really had a chance to wear it. I think I bought it last year so I'm not sure if it's still available. If it is I'll link it and if not I'll try and find an alternative. But it's a cute little polka dot skirt and when I tried these on together it just was giving me sort of like Minnie Mouse kind of 1950s vibe. But I just thought you know what that is a really cute little outfit so I'm going to pop it on I'll come back and we can think is this a leaving lockdown look? So here we are with the first outfit put together and I really hope this comes across well on camera because honestly in real life I just think it looks so cute and so unusual like I feel like if I wore this I'd feel really sassy and just cute like look at her outfit. <laughs> I'm gonna just bring the camera down a tiny bit so you can see. Is this not just like the most adorable thing? I just, I really love all these feminine details. So like the polka dot, there's a little frill on the skirt. You've got all this trimming and detailing here. Yeah, I just, it's right up my street. It's very girly, very feminine. And I also love this skirt because it really pulls you in at the waist. And I actually think River Island is really good for that type of thing. And I also think because there's a bit of ruching here, it's, it's quite flattering. I always film on a Saturday morning and I meet, my, I meet my dad every Saturday for like a typical kind of Scottish breakfast, like a rolling sausage or something. Like I don't have like elegant breakfasts at all. And I'm always like so full and then I go and film and I'm like, this was not the best time to film. But with this skirt, I just feel as if I can't even really see anything because it's all kind of ruched in there. So I think it's a really flattering look as well. And I'll quickly show you. So these are the shoes that I would absolutely love to wear with this. Although, depending on what, if I do wear this out of lockdown, like where we're going with my next bookings, realistically, this is a bit ridiculous for like a beer guard. <laughs> I mean, 
It's kind of something I would do, but I, I feel like even I would just feel a bit silly. And to be honest, as much as I love this outfit, I don't actually think it fits in to any of the bookings that I have. It's a wee bit much, I think, for this, this drink terrace on a Monday night. I think for the pub, the beer garden, probably not. And then for the Sunday lunch, I would actually wear it then, but I have another outfit I really want to wear for that. So I feel like though, this is something I would definitely wear if Jack and I were going into town, if we were maybe not shopping with these heels on, but if we were doing like a little late afternoon in town and then getting a wee cocktail, this is something I would absolutely love to wear. So give me your honest opinion. Is it too much? <laughs> Yeah, let me know what you think. So moving on to our second look, and this is one that I've been really excited to show you as it's from a small business on Instagram, which I think launched maybe the start of this year or towards the end of last year, but it is the most beautiful little boutique and it's called Gracefully Her. And Katie, who runs the business, seems just the sweetest, kindest soul. And I have to say the way she packaged the dress was the most beautiful thing I think I've ever seen. I think it's the best way a dress has ever arrived. So she had little rose petals in with this lovely card. I'll show it to you. So this was the little card, which has like wee pearl hearts on it. And oh my goodness, like, I just thought it was the most precious thing. And I really, really appreciate that type of thing. It just shows that a little personal touch. And I really, I'm just so happy that I purchased from her. I absolutely love the dress and I can't wait to wear it. So this is it here. And isn't it just the most feminine, princess-like, beautiful oh, outfit? I absolutely love it. It is, it is just gorgeous. And there's such cute wee details on it as well. Like the wee buttons you've got, really cute. And I just, I'm just so happy that I purchased it and I'm so happy that it fits because I think this is the size eight and I was a wee bit worried that I think when I looked the size 10 had sold out. So I took a gamble, went for the eight, but it does fit because there isn't too much stretch, but because it's like the ruching, I think it's one of those dresses that there's, there's a little bit of um, leeway either way with the sizing. So yeah, it does, it fits really nicely. So I'm thinking this would be so nice for Sunday lunch. Like I just think I would feel so glam and I know it's still maybe a wee bit much but you know we're leaving lockdown we've got to make the most of it I just think I would really love to wear this although <laughs> I said to myself right don't keep repeating this in this video which I'm thankful I've not actually said it so much too far all of my bookings are outside so I am aware I'm probably going to be freezing but my plan is just to take like a jumper or a big jacket or maybe even a blanket I don't know if you've left lockdown if you're in England say for example have you taken a blanket if you're sat outside because I kind of thought I could do that, just pop it in my bag, <laughs> like sit there all wrapped up whilst having a drink because that's why I didn't want to really sit inside. I wanted to have a drink, wanted to celebrate. So all of my bookings are outside, but I have no idea what the, the done thing is. I think two of the places are going to have um, outdoor heaters, but one of them I don't think will. In fact, I'm definitely sure they won't. So I do have to keep that in mind, but we're just, we're kind of pretending at the minute that it's going to be glorious Mediterranean sun and I'll be able to wear this outside in Scotland in April. <laughs> but so this is the dress and it was so reasonably priced. I think it was maybe £28 around about that. So I'll pop it on and I'll come back. Oh my goodness, I'm absolutely in love with this dress. I think it's just the most feminine, princess-like, romantic styled dress like I just absolutely love all the details I love this kind of rose pattern it's just everything that I like I love like the chiffon sleeve it makes it so delicate and then you also I'm going to just tip you down a wee bit you have like quite nice ruching as well and that again is so flattering and it just gives you a really nice shape as well I just I'm so impressed with this dress I honestly think if you haven't had a look at gracefully her you have to go and have a look at her Instagram she brings out sort of collections and everything has been amazing like there's so much I would have loved to have purchased but I was really having to <laughs> watch what I was spending but I will definitely be ordering more I mean I just think this is absolutely beautiful I really really love it I'll see if I can show you the back as well so there you go that's the back I just think this would be really lovely to wear for my first like actual date out because we're going for like lunch that's like, just the first proper sort of like full outing so I just think that's this is what I want to go for for the Sunday. So that's kind of one outfit decided. Let me know what you think. I just really think this is just such a romantic feminine love story kind of dress but I'd love to know what you think as well. So I'm going to move on to a next option for 
one of my bookings, which is this little outfit, which has been featured in another video. It is the little Freddy three-piece sort of cord. So that's the little waistcoat and the jumper or the polo neck. And then you have the little tweed skirt as well. So I purchased this and I still haven't worn it. I really want to wear it and have like a really cute Instagram in it. I just think it is the most adorable outfit. But it's one of those ones I'm not actually sure like, does, do you think this looks a bit odd to be worn in spring? Like, I'm not sure because of, like, the polo neck. But then again, spring isn't always that warm and it's, it's certainly not that warm here. So I kind of thought this might be cute for the first, the first booking that I have, like, in the little drinks terrace. I thought this could be cute with, like, little white ankle boots. So I'll pop it on just, it's been a while since I've had it on and I'll come back. We can see what we think. So here we are with this little outfit on. And yeah, I mean, I do, I do feel like, does it have a slight wintry vibe to it? I mean, I don't know, does it? I feel like the tweed is actually, this is quite spring, like almost, but then I'm not sure. But I do think this could be cute for like going out, woo, <laughs> having a wee glass. So yeah, and I actually think this fits the vibe of my, my first booking, but then I'm also, it's still quite dressed up, I would say, but yeah, I think I like it and I haven't worn it. So it's quite nice to wear something that I really haven't worn for the first time going out. So this I actually purchased from Butte Boutique and if they still have the link, I'll put it in the description box because I know there was a point where like this set was really, really hard to get. Everyone wanted it. I guess, you know, Freddie, when she wore it, it just made it just iconic. So I think it became so popular, but I did manage to grab it from Butte Boutique. Um, so... Let me know what you think of this one. It's a wee bit out there, I know that, but personally, I really like it. And I think with like wee white ankle boots, it just really has that sort of cute but chic kind of look. But yes, let me know what you think. I'm gonna move on now. So I'm gonna move on to maybe my, I think probably my last look for this video. And I've chosen one that is a bit more sensible because for the beer garden, realistically, I don't think there's heaters. I'm gonna have to dress a wee bit more warmly. So I have picked an outfit that's definitely a bit more sensible. Basically, it's one I've also included in my how to wear more pink video. And I've not quite decided the top, but my rough idea was this little kind of blazery tweed jacket coat with white jeans and then a blouse underneath and then I think I could definitely put on you know a larger jacket over it or a coat to just add the warmth but I think wearing jeans is definitely going to be like a good option for this this booking so this is a little coat I bought from Zara quite a wee while ago but they do they have so many things that are really similar to this so you can definitely have a look on their website and I'm sure there's actually a new pink blazer they brought out which it's not maybe as long as this but it's pretty much the same colour I feel. So what I might do is pop on either this River Island blouse, which again, again, this is something I purchased a wee while ago, but it's just quite a simple, like sort of pastel blue blouse. So I think this looks quite cute together and then with a pair of white jeans. Or what I might do is pop on this River Island blouse, which is from my, again, from my River Island video. This hasn't been worn, so that would be, I think, quite cute to wear. I think it would go with the coat. Let me see. I feel, I, yeah, I, I feel like we can see what I would think. I, I could maybe have another option for the coat if it's maybe not going to work as well, but I'll pop it on and we'll see what we think. So I've just popped on the purple blouse so you can kind of see that's what it looks like. And oh, I do think this is so cute. And I've got my white jeans on, which is definitely going to just bring a bit more of a practical element to this outfit. And I think, I do think it goes with the pale pink. I'm not, I'm not 100%. It's like the absolute best combination. So I maybe would check my wardrobe for something slightly different. I can see if there's something that would go a wee bit better, but I do think the pastel colours, they work quite well together overall. It's maybe just like the fact that this is quite a high collar and this is collarless, maybe doesn't look the best. I don't know, you can let me know what you think. But I do think this is going to be quite a sensible outfit and I could even pop on like little nude boots or I've got like nude brogues, so something that's actually going to add a wee bit more warmth because I mean realistically this isn't even that warm, but it's a bit, it's a wee bit more sensible than some of the other outfits. But I do think it's still, even though it's jeans, which I don't normally wear that much, it's still such a chic kind of look and I still feel very glam in it. So I just can't, I can't tell you how excited I am. Like I just, and I will say all of my bookings are just with Jack because he was really the one person I just wanted to see. Well, he was just really who I wanted to go out and like do this with. So I am, I'm just really looking forward to us going out. We've had so much fun in our flat, but it's just so nice like thinking the idea of going in somewhere and having a drink or ordering a pizza. <laughs> so this is kind of the, the end of my video. I, I do have some other options, but they're all ones I've talked about in videos quite recently. Like for example, 
this little Zara set I think would have been so so cute to wear however because of the short sleeves I just don't think I can risk wearing this and then I think it's not going to be easy to put something over this again I, and I just don't think I, I think I'll save this for when we can go out for dinner maybe I think that would be so chic or maybe like afternoon tea I that sounds as if we can't go out for those things right now I mean like so we can have alcohol <laughs> inside is what I mean I'd probably wait for this and the same with the same with this little Zara one. These, again, they haven't been worn, but I cannot wait to get these gals on the town. <laughs> so, so like I said, this is kind of the end of the video, but I really, really hope you've enjoyed it. Please tell me which outfit was your favourite, which ones do you think I should go for? Yeah, and if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you fancied subscribing, that would be amazing. Obviously, no pressure, you don't have to. I want to say a quick apology about last week's video. Oh, it was just all over the place. My iMovie like crashed and I thought I'd lost my entire library. Thankfully I got it back, but it meant the video was up so late and I wasn't even that happy with it. But moving on, onwards and upwards, I was thinking for my next video, I could do a little get ready with me because I've never done that before and because I've not had anywhere to go. So I'll maybe do that. And then I might do another Zara haul because I've actually have placed a wee order, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Wednesday at seven o'clock. I will be on time, I swear, at this time. Okay, bye!